Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wow, what a gathering place. Um, I was supposed to uh, get, come here last night to make it on time this morning. But uh, we're in a transitional period in our church where we're going through a lot of changes. And I felt like I had to be there, so I had to change my flight. And, uh, and I found out that... Uh, from LAX, you could, you could leave at 8, 8 o'clock and get here at 9.15. I was kind of risking it, but uh, made it on time, came here on time. Uh, but we did a little bit of detour. <laughs> we got so involved in our conversation. <laughs> but uh, we had an amazing um, meeting with Arvin, Arvin right? Arvin. Yeah. Arvin. Arvin. Is he here? Yes. Oh, yes, Arvin. Amazing, amazing man of God. Um, and I know that the Holy Spirit is here in this place. You've already had uh, meetings with uh, another uh, teacher for two days, right? One day. One day. One day. Okay. And this morning, we're going to uh, spend some time uh, sharing from this really powerful uh, personality test. It's called Color Code Personality Test. And... Uh, Created by Dr. Taylor. How many of you? Um, how many of you? How many of you done this already? Finished? Um, okay, your test and you know your color. Okay. If you try to figure it out and then you still don't know your color, then I know your color. <laughs> I'll tell you. <laughs> and uh, I know you. You got, all of you are kind of situated in your seat and 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 comfortable. But I'm going to do a little bit of change. We're going to bring people according to their colors. Okay, if that's okay. Because so that we can kind of comrade together. Yeah. Um, and so, all of you are finished. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Some of them are doing Dr. Ram, is this only uh, choices? Do you have the questions? No. Oh. There are choices there. This is it. This is it. Okay, this is it. So uh, basically, from one to fi one to uh, fifteen or sixteen, yeah, one oh one to sixteen, you choose one from each number, the one that fits you the most. Okay. With the, uh, based on the, the question about right. Yeah. So based on the question, yeah. The question is that okay, are you let's say number one? Are you opinionated? Are you more nurturing or inventive and ongoing? That's the question. Yeah, so you need to choose one that fits you the most. Okay? And then, at the end of it, you calculate all the A's, all the B's, all the C's, and all the D's. Okay? That's how you do it. Pardon? Yeah, only one. Only one can fit you. And then, you got to do this as you go back to your childhood. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got to do that as you go back to your childhood. So, since many of you, how many of you haven't done this yet? Okay. And I know first time. Okay, you all have uh, your sheets? Okay. We just share with the Is it supposed to be individual? Yeah, individual thing. Yeah, it's not collective. It's, it's individual. So... there's only one sheet per so, if you have only one sheet, then, 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 yeah, you, you have your separate paper and then just A, number one, A or B or C or D, okay? So, let's do this because without taking the test, we're not going to be able to uh, do the lectures on this. Okay. So, I think we're ready to do it, right? We're ready to do it. Okay, so let's do that. What we're going to do, uh, let's first of all, if you are red, if you are red, raise your hand. Whoa. Okay, there's so many red here. They are from communism. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, red. Okay, how many of you are blue? Okay, blue. Okay, they are from America. <laughs> Supposed to be Christian country. <laughs> and then thirdly, um, white. 
white people. Okay. These are discriminating white people. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay, white. Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm going to joke about things to make it fun, but don't take it personal, okay? Yeah. And, uh, okay. And then, lastly, uh, not the least, yellow people. China. China. <laughs> wow. This is very sad. We only have one red, one yellow, or two yellow, or three, you're, you're yellow? Okay, white, okay. How many yellow do we have? One? Oh, you change your color, right, just like that? Wow, how can you do that? Okay, <laughs> Okay. so not too many yellow, right? I mean, raise your hand if you're yellow. Oh, you're yellow. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Yellows, you still, usually they don't hide, but I don't know what's, what's going on here. Yeah, we have a couple of yellows. Okay, what we're going to do is going to divide people according to their color. Okay? So, all the... Red here. You see? Are you red? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, red people has a tendency to <laughs> just... Okay. Okay, let's get the red people over here. Okay, red people over here. Blue, here. And then blue people over here. Okay. And then white people over there. And then yellow people over there. Yellow people on the left hand side, on my side. Okay. Welcome to the color code personality. And this is a test that is designed by Dr. Taylor and with a hope to help people to discover their original color, okay? And of course, it, it is not determined by their skin color. <laughs> and uh, I really believe that um, together with Dr. Taylor, personality is something that is God-given. Amen. Yeah. And it is part of the fabric of God that enable us to uh, find beauty in our relationship with one another. Mm -hmm. You know, our differences in our personality, it just fascinates me. But however, because of sin, because of our inability to work together, because of our negativity, we tend to look at the negative rather than the positive. Mm -hmm. We tend to look at, uh, look at the demerits and uh, uh, weaknesses rather than the strength. Mm -hmm. We tend to allow our differences, mm -hmm. not as a way of complementing each other, but as a way of tearing us apart as a way of bringing conflict in our relationship. The problem is not the fact that we're different, but the problem lies in the fact that we don't have wisdom and the power of God, and then we don't have enough love to be able to allow our differences to be used in such a way that it will bring harmony, it will bring complementary relationship, and in the end, it will just make it beautiful, you know? And when you look at the nature in terms of beauty, you know, not all the leaves are the same, even though they look the same, but all the leaves you study, they all look different. And uh, when you look at, uh, you know, all kinds of, uh, you know, biological shapes, and you look at the cells and all that, none of them look, at, you know, look the same. All of them look different, but they situated and they get located in such a way that it conjures up beauty in the end. And so God gave us different personalities to make our relationship, what? Beautiful. But because of sin, we made it ugly. You know, we made it ugly. And so today, I want us to take a look at our personality and to be able to, with all the strength and demerits, with all the dysfunctions and all that is going on, even in the midst of brokenness that we experience in our personality, I hope that we can come in touch with the, the hands of the Creator Amen. and be able to celebrate it together Amen. and be able to appreciate each other together in a different way, okay? Amen. And so today... Let's uh, just uh, get on with our study. Even though it is a very simple study, right? It's not like MMPI and all the other kinds, which takes a couple of hours to study and costs so much money to study. But this one is very simple, but it's not simplistic. 
it is uh, it is complicated enough it uh, t that provide it really provides the complexity of the personality in a very powerful way. So at the end of our session, I'm thank I know that you will respect this test and what it can teach us in terms of uh, the wisdom that we need to gain for each other and so forth. Paul tells us that we are called to love each other as it is based on truth and knowledge. Because love without knowledge, that can destroy whatever we try to build. There is no such thing as ignorant love, right? Love that is based on ignorance, and, and especially when we insist on ignorance. Not only we insist on ignorance, we have a tendency to uh, persuade others to your ignorance. And then we promote it in the lives of other people. And that's when love gets really messy, right? So today, I hope that we gain wisdom as to who I am to begin with. Because, because in order for us to have a healthy marriage, we need to feel comfortable with who I am. Sometimes we become a burden to ourselves. I don't know what to do with myself. Have you ever had that experience? You know, without minding what we need to do to each other. And so I hope that we'll be okay with ourselves. We'll be able to celebrate who I am in God, the way God has designed us to be, Amen. okay? And be able to look at each other in a new way. Amen? Amen. Okay, so with that in mind, let's do our study. Uh, I'm going to start with the red people uh, because uh, they think they're number one. Um, <laughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to uplift them a little bit. I'm going to put them down and I'm going to do some, like, have fun with different personality. And, and so, <laughs> so I hope you don't get traumatized by this, okay? <laughs> I hope you don't need any, any, any other counseling after this. <laughs> One time a boy came in for counsel, a boy came in for a personality test. He took the test and then he found out that he was one particular color, which I will tell you. And then I said, you know, this particular color is crazy. And then he started walking out crying. Dr. M tells me I'm crazy. <laughs> So, so I'm going to say things in a kind of, you know, witty way. And so I hope you don't take it too, too, too personal. Yeah. But take the wisdom from what I have to say. And let's start with red people. We have so many red. I didn't know we have so many red in Arizona. <laughs> it's a good news for Arizona. It's a good news for Arizona because these red people, okay, another red is coming in, joining in. <laughs> and red people are driven by, if you can look at it next page, they are driven by what? Power, power. Wow. Yeah, take a look at them. Don't they look powerful? <laughs> you know? Yes. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Energy. Yeah. You know, they, they, they want to be yeah. powerful and they want to exert their power on other people. And then, um, you know, they need to be the president and then they need to be the president of something, something, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and even if they get together with their friends, they need to be the boss. They need to be the one who's running it, you know, making sure. And then they need to be the one who makes sure that their spouse following them, right? <laughs> and, and, and listen to them without any question. You know, I mean, no question asked. It's embarrassing to be here. <laughs> and then these people have a virgin of heaven. Their virgin of heaven is a heaven is a place where everybody else listen to us. <laughs> and and there is a reason why these people are so insisting on on bossing around, bossing around other people. Why? Because they think that they are always right. Right. <laughs> right. But then the study shows that they are only 51% right. <laughs> and 
And then they have their own way to interpret that statistic. And they said, you know what, 49%, we end up getting in this you know, mess and uh, we end up being wrong because the other people, my husband or my wife or my family, the other people didn't listen to me. If they had listened to me, we would have been 100% right. <laughs> So, so these people have this kind of self-grandiose idea about, you know, um, their purpose and goal, and they're very driven. They're very driven, yeah. and they don't need to do anything to be driven. They're just driven. <laughs> and then the one thing good about them, one thing wonderful about them, it's an ability they can use really well, in that, you see, they don't have to do anything, and yet they're making everybody else to work for them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so their mind is busy, their mind is busy, their fingers are getting busy telling others what to do, yeah, and then if the other person doesn't listen to them when they finger at them, they use their, you know, hands and feet, and, uh, and, and because they believe in exerting power, because, because they believe that life has to have a purpose, and life has to have a goal, and nobody can get in the way. No dogs and no husband, no wife. You know, nobody can get, get in the way. And, and so then they appear to be kind of, uh, you know, not so sensitive to other people and their feelings. You know what I'm saying? And, and because they, they tell it as it is, they are on your face sometimes. <laughs> and, and so they get misunderstood. But you know what? Without red people, no buildings could be erected. You know, without red people, Arizona will go crazy, you know. <laughs> no highway can be made, yeah. right? Yeah. And so uh, we appreciate red people because some, even though we don't like them sometimes, <laughs> you know, we realize that we need them in our lives, right? We need them in our lives. And, and one of the greatest gifts that God has given, before I talk about their demerits, one of the greatest gifts that God has given them is the sense of assuredness. They have a sense of, uh, you know, correctness. They have a sense of destiny. And, you know, and when they go shopping, these people, they don't mess around. <laughs> and they know what to buy, when to buy, and they go and buy and get out. Even the ladies, they don't like to like, mess around, spend too much time shopping. Like you go and you don't know what to buy. And these people have a list written in their hands. You know, they make sure that they have a budget. At least they make sure that their spouse has the money. And... <laughs> <laughs> They're not that willing to pay for it, but, you know, making sure that they get what they want, you know. And, uh, and uh, they're, they're very, very productive in all that they do, you know. And so for those who are married to them, God bless you guys. Because at least you're not going to go starving, right? Right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. No more starvation with these people. Because they're going to put you to work. And, uh, <laughs> I, I didn't tell you they're going to work, but they're going to put you to work. And so, <laughs> but, but I think they believe, that they believe that their leadership can be best used when they sit still and you, they don't have to work and when they get everyone else to work for them. They think that that is the best sign of powerful and strong leadership, right? Right. Okay. Well, they're getting it right now. <laughs> and they're driven by power. I love red people because even though sometimes they get on your nerve, they make you hurt. You know, they get. You know, they don't mind being personal. And sometimes they can just be on your face and all that. But, but when I ask red people to do something, whether they do it themselves, usually they don't, but they make sure that things get done. So, so you know, we can count on these people, right? So let's give them a big hand.
these are all CEO material and then and then um, you know if you belong to a church they at least have to be a superintendent of a Sabbath school <laughs> or you know or or if there's a if there's a the creator department they need to be the department chair okay or or, or a head elder head deacon head deacon you see they like the word head head they like the word that you know give them power and if you have problem with red people man you know your life is not gonna be easy <laughs> So you make sure to get along with these people well. <laughs> because until Jesus comes, they're going to be powerful anyway. <laughs> I said until he comes. <laughs> we know to, to how to build to and, and of course, there's a negative red and all that. But right now, they're not ready to take it in. It's too hard to, you know, pill to swallow. So let's just leave them feeling good about themselves. <laughs> <laughs> for a little bit. Okay, give them a hand. <laughs> and, and, and then before we go on to the next caller, let's uh, tell them what they really want to hear all the time, 100%. Even after they go to heaven, they want to hear that. That is like something like this. You are absolutely right. Okay? Okay, everyone say that to them. Okay. You are absolutely right. Yeah. Don't say it in a mocking way. You know what I mean? You got to believe in it. Yeah, you got to believe. And then, you know, yeah, if you don't if you don't say it right, they may cut you off. So you got to do it right. Okay. Okay, sincere, sincere. <laughs> okay, everybody, you are absolutely right with the yeah. exclamation point, okay? okay? Everybody, okay. You, you are absolutely right. right. Okay. And then they said, why didn't you listen then? <laughs> okay, are we ready to move on to the next one? Blue people. 